Hi everyone, this is Patrick Donahoe at Paradigm Life. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the three wealth destroyers and how they have impacted American wealth for well over 100 years. They impact it today and they will impact it going forward unless we make significant changes to our overall financial objectives. So the first wealth destroyer is inflation. Inflation by definition is the devaluation of the purchasing power of money, which means that money today, if there is inflation, will not buy what that same amount of money will buy in the future. The second wealth destroyer is taxes. There are many forms of taxes, taxes associated with our consumption, but there are many taxes associated with our investments. So taxes, mainly the ongoing taxes, is what I will focus on. And then third, is fee structure. Most wealth today is accumulated in financial products. These financial products are not sold for free. The fee structure erodes the value of that potential investment gain. So the fees that are part of one of the, uh, one of the financial powers that are destroying wealth, ongoing fees. Ongoing fees. So to illustrate these three financial powers, and wealth destroyers, I'm going to use just a simple graph. So on the y-axis, I'm gonna put uh, money right here, and on the x-axis is time, and that time is in years. And I'll just use, I'm gonna use $100 in my example right here, and also the one I'm gonna use with my calculator, which I'll show you in just a second. So if you deposit $100, and it grows with interest over time, you experience the eighth wonder of the world, which is compound interest. And that statement came from Albert Einstein. And it wasn't necessarily compound interest, it was compounding in general, because compounding applies to other things besides uh, just interest. But nonetheless, in finance, when you run a compound interest calculator, it is very compelling because of how big the number gets, especially toward the latter part of this curve, which really starts about right here. And this is known as the uh, start of the hockey, the hockey stick, the hockey stick in compounding. Okay, so all things being equal, in a perfect world, if you had money that grew at a straight line interest rate over the course of time, this is what it would look like on a graph. But as I mentioned, Americans are exposed to three wealth destroyers. Uh, they are exposed today, they were exposed in the past, and they will be exposed into the future given the traditional methodology around uh, wealth management and financial planning. So let's talk and visualize about the first, talk and visualize the first one, which is inflation. So uh, $100 today, it can purchase, you know, it could purchase a, a meal at a restaurant, uh, it can, uh, with a good discount, you can buy a really decent cell phone. But what did $100 buy uh, 100 years ago? So let's just use a simple calculation to illustrate this. So $100, and you can go to many different calculator websites, use your Excel spreadsheet, you can use dinkytown.com uh, uh, for this future value calculation if you wanna verify my math. $100, uh, 3.5%, I'm gonna say is what inflation is. Some think it's a lot higher than that, but I'm gonna be conservative at 3.5%. And we're gonna use uh, 100 years. So $100 over the course of 100 years, okay? It would take $3,000 today to buy what $100 bought 100 years ago. Okay, $3,000 today buys much more than a cell phone. It buys much more than a nice steak dinner. Okay, it uh, $3,000 is, a, is a definitely a larger sum of money. So that is inflation. Inflation is the devaluation of the dollar or currency. Okay, our money today is not is worth X amount, and it will be it won't be worth that same amount of money in the future if we have inflation. So what happens visually on this graph is this compound curve has to reduce, and it will not experience the same type of compounding because the value of money changes as well. Let's talk about the second one, which is taxes. There are many forms of taxes, as I mentioned, specific to investments. You have short-term, long-term capital gains, 
Uh, you have ordinary income, which is you know, typically uh, short-term capital gains. There is other investment interest, there's, and there's, it's changed over the course of time. Nonetheless, the government wants their hand in your pocket when it comes to your investment gains, and they're always going to get something, which dilutes the value of what you're able to compound even more. And we'll illustrate that as taxes. Okay, so Wealth Destroyer 1, which is that first line, is inflation. Wealth Destroyer 2 is taxes. The third Wealth Destroyer, use red again, is going to be fees. So looking at our management today, Wall Street doesn't work for free. Financial products are not set up for free. It's evident by how massive that industry is. They have to get their money somewhere. Charging off of the balance of our funds is normally how they go about charging ongoing or, or accumulating uh, ongoing fees or uh, charging ongoing fees. Now let's move away from this chart, which is somewhat uh, arbitrary, and get into an actual calculator that will reflect how $100 is affected by inflation, taxes, and fees over the course of 100 years. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring down a calculator. And this calculator is essentially a compound interest calculator. And as I said in my little graph, we're gonna use a 100 year time frame. Okay, and uh, so we'll do 1915. Actually it'd be 1916 and we'll wind up with 2015. And we're gonna put $100 in there. And let's add a little uh, twist to the story. So let's say that this was your, your uh, great, great aunt, and she lived in 2000, or 1915, and she wanted to put some money away for her future, uh, your future beneficiary or, or inheritor or a great-grandchild or great-great-grandchild. Who happens to be you and they the money could not be touched until uh, 2015 100 years later and when she started this this uh, this idea she had a wealth advisor who told her that she could get on average 20% per year in in the stock market okay investing her funds with him so this $100, that's where it started, over the course of 100 years, if it earned 20% per year, it would grow to $8.281 billion. No, that's not a million, okay, that is a billion dollars. $8,281,797,452. That is a very significant sum. You can imagine why Aunt Gertrude probably was pretty intrigued by this compound interest calculator that was presented to her by her wealth advisor. Now, once we start to apply the wealth destroyers, you can imagine that this amount of money is going to reduce. But believe me, it is going to reduce significantly more than you think. Let's first use inflation. So inflation, it has many different measurements, indexes, uh, we're gonna use three and a half percent, which is pretty much the average across most indices. So three and a half percent per year is the devalued amount of money every, every single year. So that $100 devalues, the ending balance devalues as well. So the account, the purchasing power of that account is no longer 8.2 billion, it is only 265 million. Now, I say only, but this only, I mean 265 million is, is a lot of money, but compared to 8.2 billion, it is not much money at all. And let me show you that. So I'm gonna use just a simple rate calculator that'll talk about the percentage decline from 8.2 billion to 265 million. So let me take this off. And we'll go ahead and copy this amount. And then we will put in the inflation factor. And now we will copy this amount over the course here. That is a reduction 
going from $8.281 billion to $265 million is a reduction of almost 97%. Just inflation. That's the first major destroyer of wealth. Now let's, uh, let's get into the second and third. So the second one is taxes. Now looking at how taxes work over the course of time, I'm not going to get into that and what the history was. I'm going to use an average ca- a tax of roughly 25%, which would be 25% uh, of gains. So 25% is taxed. Now the ending balance goes from 265 million to 3.7 million. So let's go ahead and bring down our calculator again and copy 3.764 million dollars. Now the value has gone from 3.2 billion or 8.2 billion to 3.7 million. That is a 99.95% reduction. Even though 3.7 million is still a very good amount of money today. Now let's add in the fees associated with managing this money. And we'll put those fees at two and a half percent of the balance every single year. Now the value goes from $100, I'm sorry, from, yeah, from $100 to 521,000, but the overall balance, according to what was stated by this wealth advisor, goes from 8.2 billion to 521,000, 99.99% reduction in value. Now, looking at 20% per year, anybody that understands the market, number one, understands that it does not operate on a straight line ever. It's always fluctuating. And 20% per year for 100 years, it may be uh, okay with Dave Ramsey to say something like that, but that is not reality. So let's go ahead and copy in the actual Dow Jones history from uh, 1916 to, 19, to 2015, so the last, last 100 years. All right, so 19, do we have 2015 here? We have 2013, so we will do 1914 to 2013, which is still a 100 year period of time. And copy and paste in here. All right, so as you can see, there's a big, you know, there was a little drop first year. Aunt Gertrude probably wasn't too happy about that. But look at the second year, 1917, 80% gain in the Dow, which is pretty good. Now she probably has a little bit more hope. But as time goes on, as you can see, Great Depression wiped out a lot of her money. As you can see, going that uh, 100 years, this is going to be 1914 now. <clears throat> that 100 years wipes out uh, pretty much everything. This, so the 100 year actual history wipes everything, everything out. And now the value of that $100 is actually $8. Copy. Let's go into our rate calculator. We're going to put in eight dollars so the reduction in value 99.9999930340026 now this isn't these aren't games this isn't magic i didn't you know do a sleight of hand this is an actual calculation and looking at the three destroyers of wealth hopefully you can see that what exists right now when it comes to our economy and society it is not for the benefit of those investing and putting money away the traditional way you have to think different you have to act different. There are a lot of ways to circumvent these three destroyers of wealth, but you have to be educated. So we have a, a free e-learning program on our website. It's paradigmlife.net. The link should be in this uh, this video. And on this website, you can learn about what you can do to avoid having to uh, be subject to these three financial powers that are wiping away most of American wealth right now. Definitely will wipe it away in the future as they have in the past. Thanks everybody for listening. Hope you learned something and best of luck.